Hello everybody, Ian Robson here, welcome to our tutorial. In today's course play tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use the overloader mode. So as you can see, I'm in a JCB, and I'm ready to start my overloader course. So if you want to bring up this menu, it's right click. And what I'm going to do is going to start recording course in the field. So there you go, I'm going to start recording the course like so. And depending where you want the overloader to stop is where you'd put the waiting points. So I'm going to go ahead and drive over here, and I want my waiting point to be right on the edge of the field here, so that's why I'll set waypoint right there. And where you set your waypoint is where it's going to unload, or approximately that location. So I'm going to drive forward now, I'm going to head back into the field, and set it up like that. So that's basically all you need for an overloader course. So I'm going to set it up so it drives course, and right now, because the combine isn't full, it's going to wait until it is full. So I'm going to go ahead and take over this combine for a quick second here. There we go. It's so going to disengage the worker, and I'm going to go ahead and request a driver like so. I'm going to put the pipe out just to make sure the, the driver has something to line up with, because if the pipe isn't out, the horse supply driver doesn't have anything to line up with. So as you can see, there's a horse supply driver. He's coming up. And again, the way you bring up the menu is here, if you want, don't want the menu is not up, you just right click and bring it up. And I went into the combine controls and I requested a driver manually. And that's the reason why the driver is there now. So let's continue harvesting here. There we go. And if you want to send the driver back home, so he send home in this context would be drive back to that point and unload to the unloading point. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hop into this semi truck here. And I'm going to wait to see where that overloader stops because sometimes where you put the truck and where the course actually goes isn't always as easy to set up as you think sometimes. So I'm going to go wait, wait for that guy to stop at a specific wait point and then I'm going to adjust the truck into location for it. And sometimes that is the key. You got to wait for things to happen a little bit. So you can leave the truck and just put it in a waypoint. You can set a waypoint beside the truck, but sometimes the truck will be too close. So you have to keep that in mind because the course play driver will think, oh, I'm too close to this person, I can't put that there sort of idea, so I can't drive in that location. So let's go ahead and wait for the course play driver to do his thing. So he's starting the course, he's heading towards the edge of the field, so let's drive forward here a little bit. And that's the wait point right there. So it's gonna wait there until it's unloaded. So I'm gonna adjust the truck, so I'm gonna put it right here beside it. And as you can see, he's automatically unloading. So let's go ahead and just set this guy in his way. So he'll go out and then what should happen now is now that we have the truck lined up in the right place, that course supply driver should just come around here and unload automatically. Let's see that happen. All right, so the, the tractor has unloaded the combine once again. So I'm gonna go ahead and set the driver, send the driver home once again. So the course supply driver is gonna drive that course we have set up for him. So what's gonna happen here is he's gonna wait for the combine to go forward a little bit. He may run into it sometimes, so keep that in mind. So as you can see, it said it was in traffic. He's probably still gonna be in traffic behind the combine. And once he finally clears the combine, he's gonna go back onto his main course. So this is what can happen sometimes with course play. It does silly things like this, but eventually it should figure himself, figure himself out. There he goes. So he's figured that he doesn't need to do that anymore. So he's gonna move away from the combine finally. And there's a certain procedure that's programming involved. And that's the reason why it does that kind of thing. So let's go ahead and watch the tractor come around and unload right into this trailer. Now we should see this. Let's go ahead and get into the trailer truck here so we can see that it's actually filling up. So as you can see, you put the pipe out, it's come around and he's automatically unloading. So that's what will happen when you have the overloader mode set up properly. Hope you enjoyed that tutorial, folks. My name is Ian Robson. If you like what you saw, why don't you go ahead and hit that subscribe button for some more tutorial action. Catch you guys later.